Welcome to Blind Bourbon and Whiskey Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new bourbons. We base our reviews off of a 25-point scale we developed and then multiply that by 4 to get up to 100. We start with 5 points for smell, then 10 points for taste, then 5 for the finish, and 5 points combined for the look of the bottle and the liquid inside. Now on to the review. Blind tasting, again. Found a new one. Um, our youngest daughter picked this one out for John. I told her to go look in the cabinet and find the bottle she thought was the coolest. So, she so this picked is something. what she came out with. <laughs> um, I'm really interested to see John's responses to this one because I think both of us have kind of built up with this one a little bit. Um, no it's hands. just, it's just interesting. I'm kind of excited to see what it, what he thinks about it. So, smell. What's that in sniffer get? I've been taking notes and drinking it while we watched watching TV Lucifer on Netflix. Amazing show. It started out very odd. It just didn't smell very good. Okay. I started out, I wrote down like a, a 2.5 to start out with. But it changed a lot the whole time. I went to the taste, up the score in the nose because it smelled a little bit better. Did the finish. I kept up in the score the whole time, and I actually think I kind of fell in love with it. Oh, okay. It started out odd, but it opened up very, very nice. Oh. Right off the bat, you get oak. It's pretty strong, so it has some age to it. Okay. And alcohol is pretty strong, so it's probably pretty high proof. You get strong mint, which kind of threw me off at first, but the longer it sat out, it, it disappeared a little bit. Okay. And it's a it's a spicy mint, like wintergreen. I don't get I don't think I get that one very much. Okay, no, well, you get spearmint, peppermint. Get a little hint of tobacco, like a fresh tobacco leaf, not like a cigarette. I don't okay. know if you've ever smelled that. Yeah. It's a decent smell. It's an acquired smell, but yeah. I mean, it's much better smelling than a cigarette, so. <laughs> the more I let it sit, the more I get caramel, and the caramel just intensifies. Okay. I get it a 3.75. Wanted to give it a four, but it didn't peak enough. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. I mean, I smell it, and all I smell is green apple Jolly Ranchers, but I smell a lot weirder things than John does. So, <laughs> but that I mean, I feel like that's fair. It's mm -hmm. I smell it, and it smells pretty good. So, I would be okay with that. Here we go. Now the taste. It's hot. Okay. Definitely stick with the high proof. You get stick cinnamon, like fresh ground cinnamon. Oh. Not as sweet. It's definitely that spice, like a baking spice cinnamon. Okay. You get a little bit of a rye bite at the back end. Okay. I like it. It's a, it's a pretty good tasting whiskey. Is it sweet enough for you? Or is yeah, it... it's definitely yeah. sweet enough. Okay. You get vanilla. It took me a while to come up with what the sweetness were. R. English. He's bad at it. Not I am really. good at it. He's good at it. Just not today, I guess. I get a lot of oak and char on this one. Okay. You don't get that very often, so I'm impressed with that. I usually get it on the finish. It'll mm -hmm. stick to the tongue, but I can taste this you one. You don't usually it. taste it. It's definitely 100 plus proof. Okay. It's got that nice bite, nice feel. Oh, it's really good. Oh, okay. What are we what are we ranking it? Give it an eight out of ten. That stick cinnamon, that spice, that rye bite. Heart okay. It transforms in your mouth, starts off spicy and then it turns to like a a warm vanilla and caramel. 
like a freshly cooked caramel. It's just warm and it's really good. Okay. Get a little um, bit of black pepper on there too. All right, that's fair. Yeah, eight out of ten. I, I really like it. So your your strong feelings with how it smells transfer over to how it tastes. So how does it finish? Great. Oh, okay. Up there with the <laughs> elites on the finish. Oh. The char does stick around. Okay. And it gives you a pretty good bear hug. Oh. It's got a good hug. Oh. It lets you know you're drinking a higher a proofy proof, whiskey. Yeah. Okay. It's not one that you'd want to chug. It's it's a sipper. I don't. I wouldn't even mix this. I feel like I know what it is, but peppery bite sticks for quite a while. Okay. It's a, it's got a medium long finish, not mm -hmm. long, but I gotta throw medium in there. It does stick around for a while, but it fades. Okay. It's got a good oily mouth feel. Give it a 4.5 out of 5. Okay. What about the color? I love the color. I it's do too. It's dark. It's nice. It is very dark. It's a very nice color. I don't even know how to des describe that at all. Like a dark, fresh caramel. Why is it even caramel? Caramely on this one. Doesn't caramel um, get, when it's like cooked a little bit too long, you get that. I don't know. I don't burn caramel. Mm. Couldn't tell you. Um, golden reddish. It's very golden. I would almost say like a sienna yeah, color. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's like a reddish brown, orange, bronzy color. Mm-hmm. I'll judge it in the bottle. I think I can get the color a little bit better out of the bottle. It does look much better in the bottle, I will tell oh, you. Oh, that. that hog does stick around. Oh, it's getting you. Oof. Need a Tums? <laughs> mm, probably. <laughs> this is the aftermath because while we took a break a second, John farted and it's terrible. So I can't even start back up, guys, because I can't get this shirt off my nose. Okay. Sorry so. about the little break. I had to relieve myself. Sorry. We're not going to go there. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm really excited about this because John and I, well, first, do you have any guesses? Uh, I get a little fecal on the nose right now. I don't know why. <laughs> it's bad. Well, I guess antique was my guess. That's tough. It's not it. It, does it is around the same proof. Um, but it doesn't it taste not. weeded, though. But antique so, gives me a good spice like that. Okay. So I, I was kind of so a lot of the it. same to taste. Yeah, notes. it's very similar. Um, if it's not, you already shook your head. It's not. This is from Heaven Hill. Um, it is seventy five percent corn, twelve percent barley, and thirteen percent rye. Well, it no is weed at all. No weed at all. But you did were right with the look. Excuse me, the little rye bite that you got. Um, it is aged for six years, although that's controversial because they don't have an age statement on their bottle anymore. Uh, I read up on it a little bit, and they said that in 2015, they stopped putting it on their label. So everyone's a little controversial about if it is or if it isn't. However, a lot of different websites and their own website did say that it is six years aged, so we're going to run with that. Um, so it's Heaven Hill, 103%, or 103 proof, and it's aged for six years. <laughs> Shut up. So can you reveal the bottle now? I know what it is now. So we just picked this up. Um, we a few weeks ago. Heard a lot about it, so we were like, oh, you know, we'll just grab one and see how it is. It's cheap. And my daughter likes chickens, so it's Fighting Cock. Uh, you can't really see the label that great. Sorry about my terrible lighting. Um, here it is. So. This is a bottom shelfer. This is a bottom shelfer. This is, sorry, I got to cover his face. Beautiful face. Um, 
Dad and I randomly stopped into a store the other day, and we found this, and he was like, ah, oh, let's just grab it. Let's let's see I what it's about. I haven't seen it around. No. It's a shelfie, but we don't get much up here in Michigan. No. So I, there was only one on the shelf, so. He grabbed it. Around 20 bucks, I it couldn't pass it up. Yeah, and <sighs> I'm interested. Like, we, we took a sip of it, and both of us were like, whoa, wow. But, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is my first drink out of it. You can see how much I've had. So, he really enjoyed his first pour of it that I gave him, and then this is his second one. So, he's enjoying it a lot. But, let's quickly get through what your rest of your review. What are you thinking for the color now that you can see it in the bottle? Color is beautiful. It, it is really pretty. It didn't pretty. change. It's dark. It reminds me a lot of kind of Booker's. Yeah, it the is The color dark. of it well, does. Well, similar age, too, so. Right. Oh, look, there's the floaty in there. Interesting. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Floating around. I wonder if it's... It has to be filtered. Uh, that's weird. I don't know. We just get add-ons. Okay. Well, it's got a screw top, and it's got... It's just cheap all the way around. Just a normal bottle, just like old granddad. But apparently it's deceiving. It, it, oh my it's gosh. Pretty it's good a cheap stuff. sticker that's just not on there very it's well. not There's like a little bubble under there. There's, I mean, ugh, I don't the know. The glass just doesn't look expensive. Nothing looks expensive about this. But. But. It is delicious. So what do you, so what are you giving color? Color full points, 2.5. You can't get much better on the color. What about the bottle? You can see how dark it is just on the video. I know, you can see it really well. The bottle... I like the name. I like the fighting chicken on it. It's a rooster. But, okay. Here we go with the animal. Sorry, guys. We have <laughs> an animal and he messed it up again. I like the fighting chicken. Not it's good with a math. rooster. Not... Chickens are roosters. Roosters are chickens. They're male. I know they're male chickens. But, but they're, they're not still chickens. chickens. They're roosters. Fine, it has a cock on the front. Oh, good. He can read at least. We got that going for uh, him. I'm going to give the bottle 1.25 because I do like some things about it, even though it's just cheap looking. There is a lot of floaties in there. Uh, I'm interested to see what's going on there. Been drinking out of it without me knowing. Backwasher. Uh -uh. So that brings you up to 20 points. Yeah. Oof. An 80 for a That's $20 up there with the bottle. Elite. So, Not elite, but it's it's very good. This is in Michigan. This is twenty dollars. It was like nineteen ninety seven or something where we picked it up at. So, this is a twenty dollar bottle, and it's ranking almost as high as a sixty and an eighty dollar bottle. So that's very interesting yeah. to me. Well, only one cheaper bottle has beat this one, and that's Evan Williams. I don't think ugh, that's gonna be tough to for but, for a price point. I don't think anything's ever going to be. I'd like Evan. to revisit Evan Williams just because we did that when I was starting out. And I think I've I've changed a lot. Yeah. Your palate's gotten a lot better, too. Okay, points. so 80 points. Fighting pack. You enjoyed it. I so don't be, really like it. Don't be discouraged. If you like things a little proofier, definitely, if you can find it, grab one and try it out and let us know what you guys think, too. Um, All right, so... Before we started, I asked Lindsay to smell it because for me it changed. So when she poured it, I had her smell it. And what did you rate the smell? A three and a half. I thought it's there's. He didn't want me critiquing it. He just wanted me to smell it and tell okay. me just flatline what And you what did not thought. get the caramel at first. No. Now smell it and rate it and tell me what all you can smell. So I still smell the cur the apple, but it's not like a Jolly Rancher. It's not like sweet candy. It's like a caramel apple. I smell caramel now. I smell straight caramel. I smell caramel very predominant, but I also smell apple. I Oof, alcohol. <laughs> so what would you rate it now? Did it get better or is that just me? No, it definitely got better. The alcohol's burned off a lot. I, oh, I smell a lot more stuff. I definitely smell oak in it, too. So what would you rate it now that it's sat out? I would put it up probably another point. I think I agree with your four 
or well, you gave it. You said three point seven five. I'd probably give if it, it a four point two five. If it started out like this, I'd give it up there over four. That's crazy. That's my favorite. One of my favorite parts about doing this, though, like, there's some stuff where like he'll set out there, and I always get like wafting smells of it, <laughs> and it's just. If we don't end this video soon. You're gonna get another wafting. Crazy, smell. <laughs> but it's just. Ugh. This is part of the reason why I'm so in love with whiskeys and bourbons because, and maybe scotches, we're coming around to that. We haven't, we haven't pushed that out just yet. Um, we're going to visit some of those soon, but it's just insane. Just insane how it can change just from sitting out for 20 minutes while we are doing a video. I'm only going to see this every now and then on the shelf, just one at a time. I'm going to pick it up every time. I agree. So make sure you pick it up and yeah, if you guys see it, grab know. it and let us know what you think about Message it. Message me on YouTube or Facebook and tell me what you thought of this. It's good definitely stuff. a good one to spread the word about. Yeah, at twenty bucks, you can't really beat it. So all right, enjoy. Here. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.